I'm Eddie Gomez, and here's what's happening this morning. Police in Tracy are investigating the city's third homicide this year. All police know about the victim at this time is that it is a male. They say the incident happened at the intersection of Carlton Way near Parker Avenue and Lincoln Park. And eight people were hurt and a restaurant was damaged after a two car crash yesterday afternoon. It happened at 12th and I Street. It's the second time in just a few months that the Bangkok at 12th Thai restaurant has had a car crash into it. Now police are investigating if someone ran a red light or if a blind spot from a hanging tree branch is blocking the view for drivers. And a reminder for PG&E customers, starting October 1st, your bills are going up. The average electric customer will pay about $3 more per month. The average gas customer around $1.70 more. PG&E says they'll use the extra money to cover the cost of several wildfires from 2016 and to make improvements to their infrastructure. Now for a check of the weather, here's Carly Gomez. Good Sunday fire weather that's sticking around Monday and Tuesday as it'll go into effect because we are starting to see some drier conditions, dry and windy conditions from Monday to Tuesday. Now the 90s return, they've already started up on Saturday. We'll continue to see upper 80s, low 90s Sunday and Monday before we hit the mid 90s Tuesday to Wednesday. So yeah, we're still getting hot out there, even though the first day of fall, that is tomorrow, 3.50 a.m. All right, let's talk about this fire weather that goes into effect 1 p.m. Monday to 11 p.m. Tuesday. Tuesday. This is a wide range of area. Now it's extended further west. We're also looking at a lake wind advisory. We'll see winds 20 miles per hour with gusts as much as 30 miles per hour. Now the clouds roll into the afternoon hours. You could see it there. That's really just the remnants of clouds from a cold front to the north. That's going to begin bring in partly cloudy to even mostly cloudy skies for the portion of your day before starting to clear out into the evening hours. We'll see mostly clear skies and mostly sunny conditions for the next week or so before we start to see the more more of the clouds rolling in the following weekend. Here's what we're looking at. Mid 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, we drop 10 degrees Thursday in the mid 80s, almost another 10 degrees Friday. We drop into the mid 70s and we're looking at low 70s and upper 60s next weekend with chances of showers.